He is a well-known tech guru currently serving as the first chief digital officer of New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. And now Sri Srinivasan is ruffling feathers in the industry by launching what he is calling a one-man mini movement highlighting the lack of women in tech. In a Facebook post about two weeks ago, he said, leaning in my 2016 pledge to my daughter, I won't speak on any all male panels upgraded now to include not attending all male panels. So he joins us now live from New York. Thank you so much for being with us today. We know this has been such an issue in the tech industry for a while. Why go public with this now for you? Well, it started with a conversation with my daughter thinking about all-male panels, and I promised her that I wouldn't attend any more all-male panels, and now I'm just thinking about kind of not, uh, not speaking on all-male panels and now not attending any. And the fact is that there's been a lot of conversation, not just by me, but by so many other people about this issue. Women have been raising this for years, and uh, we've seen now other, other folks around the world are stepping up and doing things that are all kind of independent uh, ways in which they're thinking about this five men in Australia some of the best known speakers most widely invited most frequently invited speakers have said they will not attend all male panels so I think this is part of the larger attention being paid to the issue of women in technology and the fact that we need diversity of all kinds in our public institutions and Sri, I think this this is reflective, not even just in, in technology. I mean, we talk about, you know, needing more women in management ranks on corporate boards. In your mind, what's the what's the downside of this lack of diversity? Well, when you have this, you have people who all look the same and are from similar backgrounds, you don't hear new voices, you don't hear new questions, and that's absolutely critical. And it's not just that you want to see kind of token women here and there. Often people will call me and say, hey, do you have a single woman, a one, one woman who can speak on something? And it's often about women's issues, or you ask people of color to speak about issues that affect people of color, especially when you think about boards. The idea of having a voice in the room or multiple voices in the room that can look at things from a new angle, a new perspective is so important. It is, and, and I find it shocking. I mean, there are stats that say women drive 70 to 80 percent of all consumer purchasing, whether you're talking about actual goods or deciding what operating system the family is going to use. Why is it such a struggle to include women in the conversation in the business world? I think it's because they aren't used to seeing women who are decision makers in the business side of operations. So they think about how they can package their advertising and aim that at women, but aren't often in a position where they have women with them in the in the boardrooms or in the in the meeting rooms where they're making the decisions that are going to affect products and other choices. So I think it's about men especially have to step up. Women have been complaining about this for a long time. Now it's up to us as men to say we need to make a difference. In our house, we are two males and two uh, women, my uh, wife and my 12-year-old daughter and my 12-year-old son, his twin, and I have far fewer uh, decision-making opportunities than our women in our lives. <laughs> well, I applaud you for that. I am also a split household. And you're right, the conversation changes the more voices are there from the very outset. Uh, what do you say to the complaint that we hear? Because you're right, women have been complaining about it and protesting about it for a long time. And some of the pushback that I've heard is that, well, we can't find women that are qualified or the women don't have the experience yet for us to find an adequate number of them. How, how do you respond to that? I also hear that this is such a specialized topic that there may not be a woman who can speak to that. Well, don't think that way. Ask around. And, you know, my Twitter handle is at Sri, S-R-E-E, -E, and I make a commitment here that anyone who contacts me looking for help or a specific speaker for a specific topic will help you find women. It is not that hard if you ask. It's easy to find women of color, people of color, who can bring a kind of new voice and new perspective. So I'll even give you my email address. Here it is on CNN International, sree -E at sree dot net, sri at sri dot net. Write to me. I'll help you find women and other voices for your panels. And, Tariya, I have a feeling quite a few people are going to take you up on that. Thank you so much for joining us and helping change the conversation. Do come back again soon. Thank you very much.